In this example, we're going to go over how to find the kinetic energy of a moving object uh, given the formula of kinetic energy is equal to half of the mass times the uh, square of the velocity, where m is the object's mass and v is the velocity. Um, we'll go ahead and initialize our two most important variables here, which are going to be our inputs. So our inputs for end user are going to be mass and velocity. And the idea here is that we're going to use both variables to find out what the momentum is and also what the kinetic energy is. It doesn't really matter what order you put it in as long as you have um, inputted the mass and velocity. I've taken the input from the end user for both before computing the formulas. Um, I'll create a uh, second code block um, and I'll, comp I'll compute the kinetic energy and momentum formulas using inputs. So first I'll go ahead and, and create the formula for kinetic energy and I'll denote it as such kinetic energy equals half of mass times velocity squared. Um, just make sure that if you write it down, it doesn't have to be specifically in that order, but as long as you are um, making sure that you are doing the, the math operations correctly, um, you should be fine. So for, for instance, like I um, just kind of want to get rid of the, the biggest part of the equation here, um, which is velocity squared. And I'm going to multiply that times its mass. And all of this is actually going to be divided by 2. Right, so the divided by 2 would be our 1 half. Um, that's located right here. So we have the kinetic energy equation out the way and we're going to do the one for momentum and the momentum is simply uh, mass times the velocity. Um, so our, let me go ahead and clarify here. Momentum is equal to mass times velocity. And we'll go ahead and type it down here in our momentum variable. And then last but not least, we're going to output the results of kinetic energy and momentum. And I'll simply denote that as print kinetic energy. And you can do this two ways. You can either um, print one function and use two arguments, or what I'll do is I'll just do, I'll print it out separately and go ahead and have each variable that I'm outputting on a separate line. Um, one thing to remember is that um, when we go ahead and input these numbers, um, that there is actually a certain unit in mind. Um, in this case, our mass is going to be equal to a float number times the input and whatever the prompt is for that input. So enter the um, mass of object in kilograms. And then for velocity, we're going to do the same thing enter the velocity of object in in meters per second. Uh, one thing to remember is that this is going to be in uh, the units that are, are that are going to be associated with these two um, formulas is the momentum is going to be inputted outputted as a kilograms per times meters per second but this one is actually going to be in kilograms 
times meters per second squared. Remember that we're squaring the velocity here. And so what's, what's especially important is that we are using the correct dimensional units to figure out whether or not this is going to be the case for this formula. So again, the velocity is going to be in meters per second. And we're going to square that. and It'll give us meters per second squared. We have our mass, which our mass is going to be in, kilo, in kilograms. And that should give us a specific unit. And this unit will actually be in newtons. So there's, there's a shorter way to write this down. So what's going to happen is, it, I guess you're asking, why is this relevant? So the reason why it's relevant is because newtons is then going to be my output for kinetic energy. So in this second argument, I'm going to have uh, the letter N, or I can just type in newtons uh, to denote what the, kin the kinetic energy unit is. So traditionally, we, we write N in physics for newtons. So I'll leave it as N. And then for momentum, I'm going to have this written down as kilograms per meters per second. And that should be it. So we'll go ahead and run the program. And I didn't miss a, I actually missed a, a parentheses here. It's just a, a little error that I made here, not too much to worry about. And then I want to add a colon here. And then we'll actually, let's fix, fix this real quick. We'll run it again just to make sure everything is working. But we'll go ahead and and with this, let's try the, what we're, what we're really worried about here is making sure that the math is correct. So I'll go ahead and enter the mass of the object, which I'll enter as 20. Um, and then the velocity of the object will be two. And as you can see, the kinetic energy is equal to 40 newtons and then the momentum equal to 40 kilograms per meters per second times meters per second now I do have a chance to kind of look over my code here and just kind of fix little mistakes that I've made um, capitalize this E I fixed a mistake here where I didn't have the colon um, one more thing I want to add um, an output for to denote that this is going to be for kinetic energy. So the easiest way for me to do that is I am simply just going to run a string here as one of the arguments and I'll call it KE equals. And then here I'll do the same thing but I'll do it for momentum. So I'll just denote that as M. Okay, so let's run the program. It says that there's an invalid syntax, and I might have missed something here. Let's go back and go to our formula. So I have parentheses here. I have parentheses here. And it seems like there might be an issue somewhere along these lines. And that issue will actually be a little bit above here. And it turns out I'm missing a parentheses. So now it should run. There we go. 
We'll use a different set of numbers this time, and I'm going to use 15 as the mass of my object in kilograms. I'll use the velocity as 3, and there you go. The kinetic energy is equal to 67.5 newtons, and my momentum is equal to 45.0 kilograms times meters per second. You, you can actually see that there's this big gap here. Um, it's up to you if you want to fix it. Um, you don't have to, but the way to fix that is actually removing the space after the equal sign. If you run it one more time, you'll see that removed from the uh, program. So we'll run it again, 15 and three, and there you go. One of the things that uh, it's really asking you to do in this program is to make sure that you understand that you have two inputs and you can actually do many things with those inputs. In this case, you've used kinetic energy uh, formulas and momentum formulas, and you were able to do all that math to output both. And, and this can be an endless amount of, of formulas that you'd like to add if you have an input and output or inputs that are um, that will go into the computation of these formulas. Um, one thing in mind is that you understand what type of inputs you want. In this case, I used float because uh, floats are very um, they're very flexible in how the data will be co uh, computed. So you can use decimals, whereas in, in, with integers, you won't be able to use that. Um, but it's very important to kind of understand what you want to get out of your, your program um, and it, it, make sure that you're inputting or outputting the amounts. So if you want to use, um, uh, you can also use precision for your outputs especially when you're working with physics, you'll be using a lot of significant figures to um, solve these kinds of physics problems. Um, but it's very important for you to know that, that you can do all of these things on Python, but you must make sure that you are using the correct types of variables to solve these kinds of problems in order to get the correct answer. Um, so that's it for this project. I want to thank you for listening in. And if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below.